Triple G was the first white guy on TV, probably, to tell the whole world, I fight Mexican style. Ha, yeah, watch me fight. I fight Mexican style. Break, break, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Break, break. So when I went to study zoo, I saw a very fundamental boxer. Tough, good right hand, good body shots, you know, strong, pressure, fighter. Very fundamental. Reminds me of a Mexican. Okay? So, if, it, if that's what it reminds me of, somebody who's had over 100 fights since he was a kid, then, eh, you know, it is what right. it is. You know? And we that's say Styles makes fights. Triple G was the first white guy on TV, probably, to tell the whole world, I fight Mexican style. Ha, yeah, watch me fight. I fight Mexican style. He did Some say Mexican that. Fans, some Mexican fans <laughs> cheer for me now. Who, who cares? Who cares? Look at my style. I'm just like you. Come on, let's have fun. Let's drink and this and that. Don't watch the fight, guys. Don't watch the fight. Enjoy. You like boxing. I know you like boxing. Watch my boxing. You know, it's Mexican style. Right. You know? There's nothing wrong with having a Mexican style. You know, I know that. Right. But Tim Zhu said, oh, we studied Keith and we've done this and that. And I said, well, if you really study me, you know, I never lost to that style, you know. And so, you know, of course, the banter, he wanted to speak. I want to let him speak. Nobody wanted to hear him speak. It didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, I just... I just wanted to have the fight before the fight with the man. It's our first introduction. He flew from Australia. You think I'm going to let you waste your time like that? Gee, you going to come see me? You ain't going to waste your time, man. You know, we're going we gonna to make something happen. You know, so I wish he had a little bit more to say. Uh, looking back at it, I could have spent a little bit more time on the mic myself. But um, I, I put the mic down. I felt like I said my piece. But um it is what it is, man. I think it's a great matchup because of the styles, because he's going to be pressuring me, because I have the athleticism to use the ring. But is Thurman going to be in shape? Is the conditioning going to be right at 35? How's his legs? He looked good against Barrios. But, you know, but this is now another two years later. Man, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, that's just wordplay and anticipation, you know, and we're going to have to, you know, let the talking – you know, put the talking to the side and just let the performance speak for itself. Uh, but that's what camp's all about. We're working hard. Uh, we're dedicating ourselves daily to the regiment and just going to do our best to showcase our skills and talent once again and punch our way into the 154 division and ask for who's next. Because I don't I don't know. We're not thinking about who's next. we got to deal with Tim Zoo, And then there's going to be one question for the world. Pete Thurman's here. Who's next?